Hello, my name is Ken Thomas. I'm your instructor for Principles of Broadcasting, RTV 3000. If that's the class you signed up for, well, hopefully this year we're going to have a little bit more fun. Traditionally, this class has been a history of broadcasting, uh, going through specific jobs, specific years of um, famous broadcasters. We're still going to do that, but hopefully we're going to introduce some new things. Uh, one of the first things that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to introduce yourself to Adobe. Uh, you'll have to go to adobe.com and sign up for a free account uh, because we are going to start using some of the Adobe perif um, peripherals for this class for broadcasting and how uh, not only are they going to help you in this class but other classes. One of the first things you're going to notice about me is I'm my um, full-time uh, staff member here. I'm not a not a full-time faculty member, but I am on campus. Um, so you can find me here in Building 14, room. My office is room 1001. It's downstairs of this building here. It is in the TV studio. I manage the TV studio. That's my full-time position. I also teach here. So anytime you need to find me, you can find me downstairs. In just a little bit, I'll take you through a tour. And as we um, are going through the tour, you'll get to see what, uh, what we can do here at the University of North Florida and how we do handle local broadcasting here in t in, on campus. Um, not necessarily with the Spinnaker, although I'll talk about the Spinnaker. We'll have some Spinnaker guests come in and talk about it, about broadcasting on campus, and you can get involved in there uh, as a student-produced thing, separate of the communications department, and uh, hopefully you'll be involved in that. But as far as this course, I'll take you through a quick, quick tutorial of the website uh, in Canvas. I've loaded some of the material for the first week, but not all of it, so uh, we'll go from there. We're going to do a lot of uh, a lot of things this this semester, and I'm hoping that uh, it's going to be interactive. It's going to be different than it has been um, throughout, I guess, the course of the semester throughout the whole course development. I'm redesigning the whole course, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. We'll start with Canvas. So here is a quick tutorial of the class. We're talking about RTV 3000 principles of broadcasting. In our section right here for the fall, we're going to have the home page. <clears throat> it's going to have all kinds of information on it here, uh, some messages if you need to. We'll go back down to announcements. In the student view, you'll be able to see the announcements if I have any announcements for the class. Uh, in addition, you'll be able to see some assignments. You'll see the assignments. You'll be able to complete the assignments. In the discussions area, we will have discussions based on your um, research and your findings. Uh, the first one we're going to have is what defines broadcasting, and that's your opinion. What do you think defines broadcasting? You can look at your grades in the student view. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm in the teacher view. You can also see how all the people that are in the class. If you would like, you can click on that. You can open up files that are in the program that I've put in for the class. You can also look at our quizzes, our syllabus, uh, your modules, uh, your conferences, your attendance. These are the main areas where your information for this class is going to come from. Once I publish this class, your assignments will go online. Your discussions will go online. If you look, notice here, everything will be listed with five points or the point value for that assignment. So without further ado, we'll continue discussing. I'll show you a quick tour of the studio and my office where you can find me, and we'll go from there. So if you didn't get enough of me in class, you just come down the stairs, you can find my office, unlike all the other uh, professors. They're upstairs. I'm actually downstairs in these doors right here. You can find me here. So as I said, if I'm not in class, this is where I'm at. Find me here. I apologize for the bad, horrible lighting back there. That's called backlighting. That's one of the things that we'll talk about in broadcasting. It's really, very, really simple to avoid it. But until we talk about that, I'm going to show you 
where you're at in relationship to my office and the classroom. The classroom is directly above us. Okay, so 1002 is our equipment room. This is where we get all of our equipment. We store all of our equipment. When students check out for class, check out equipment to go do stories and broadcast them. This is where they do it from. So again, right below the classroom is my office. I'm right here in to 1001. Uh, this is where you can find me. If you need to come talk to me, this is it. This is where we're at. Here we at. Most of the time I'm in here, but there are other times where I'm in the studio down the hall. Now before we get to the studio, I would like to introduce you to the lab. All of these computers have Adobe products, the full complement of Adobe Creative Cloud. You're, you have accessibility to that, which means you have Photoshop, all that stuff. Now, here's the deal. As principal as a broadcasting journalist, you can get into this lab if nobody else is using it. The advanced classes and the storytelling classes, which we'll go into next, you can come in here too. But the classrooms, all of the classrooms, whether they're PC or um, Macs, have Adobe, the full complement of Adobe, as well as the first floor of the computers in the library. Those have them as well. So all of the assignments that you're going to be doing, we're going to try to do them on mobile apps, uh, and but you can also transfer them into regular apps on the on the laptops and the computers here in the lab. Now, one of the things that we use the lab for is simply this. Stories, uh, students go out and produce stories in the field. They come back and they edit them together. What is editing? We'll tell you th in this class. What is going and producing stories in the field? I'll tell you in this class. You will learn the basic concepts of going out in the field producing and field acquisition using the stuff that we have here at UNF. So as I said just down the hall, you're looking right now into the control room of our TV studio here at UNF in the broadcasting department. I'm also in charge of here. Again, most of the time I'm in my office, but you can also find me here. Just behind this dark window, we'll go behind there and see the studio. Uh, so this is kind of a tour of the studio, what broadcasting we do here. We do a show called Inside Jacksonville. That's the Advanced Multimedia Storytelling Class. And lights. So here it is, the studio. This is the anchor desk. This is where the students come in and sit down and do their stories. They introduce their stories speaking right into the camera, reading off the teleprompter, all of these terminologies you will understand throughout the course of this class. But I just wanted to sh show you the studio to see where the Inside Jacksonville show is produced and you'll understand what a producer is hopefully by the end of this class. And other than that, that's pretty much it in this class. We're going to do a lot of stuff. We're going to introduce you to Adobe, <coughs> excuse me, Adobe Spark, Adobe Video, Adobe, maybe some Illustrator, uh, Mix and Fix. All of these things are going to help you navigate through this class and understand how they're being used in broadcasting today. Some of these are on the cutting edge. Some of these apps are on the cutting edge. They're mobile apps. Some of them are being used. Some of them aren't. But they're fun anyway, and hopefully that's what we're going to do because you can see through the semester where broadcasting is coming from versus where it was, okay? I do have one assignment for you. I do want you to think about what broadcasting is to you. That is our first assignment in class discussion in the Canvas. What does broadcasting mean to you? What do you think broadcasting is? That's your first assignment, and we will see you in class.